Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell in the upper right hand corner. Follow me on all forms of social media. Check me out at thedrummerguy.com and enjoy the following presentation. Hello? What's up, brother? Hey, how's it going? It's uh, it's going all right, you know. Shit, shit's been kind of hectic down here, but you know, that's a good problem to have, I guess. Uh, thank you very much for uh, taking the time to do this interview. I mean, it's uh, great to hear your voice again. Uh, uh, having uh, the past that we've had together, you know, uh, our our previous bands playing together, us hanging out at shows, after shows. Uh, at my house, uh, my old practice space, uh, your old practice space. I mean, uh, such a prolific uh, time between each other. It's great to be able to talk to you again. And uh, now seeing what you're up to now with uh, your your site, your band sucks. Yeah, you know, um, and uh, uh, ditto on that, dude. Like, we go back. God damn, dude, we're getting old. We go back so far. I swear we were in Nam together or some shit, you know? <laughs> like, god damn, dude. We, yeah, man. Riffs and booze and riffs and rails and riffs and, yeah, man. Fucking a lot of good times you and I have had together. And, like, likewise, man, it's really cool for me to see you, you know, like, you're interviewing some serious, some serious heavyweights, bro. Like, you know, we're, look at us. We're making some noise, man. This is, this is freaking cool. But, uh, uh, yeah, um, your band sucks. Dot site. Um, you know, uh, uh, I think, I think a lot of people are probably tuning in, you know, to, to listen to me talk mad shit on bands and, you know, uh, uh, roast people and stuff. And, you know, there's plenty of that over at your band sucks. Dot site. You know, like, like that's, I'm putting stuff out, trying to put stuff out every day doing that. I thought, you know, uh, I get a lot of questions about, like, like, what's, what's really going on here, you know? Like, uh, uh, who the fuck is this Steve Shadwell? Is he really that pathetic? You know, that kind of thing. And, and you know, like, let, let people know a little bit about, like, why I'm doing this. How it, how it actually started. You know, that kind of thing. So, so that's kind of what we'll be doing today. So, with that in mind, I mean, obviously, uh, with the music scenes that we were able to grow up with, and, you know, we spent a, a good decade together with, like, how did this idea come from? to do a site like your band sucks well you know a lot of people a lot of people now who who have known me have said you know yeah this caught us all by surprise but at the same time i'm not really surprised you're doing something this stupid because like dude man you know uh uh you remember back when we were back in the day man we'd, we'd get drunk we'd talk shit on each other you know and uh, it was all fun and yucks and you know um and uh really like uh one night, I was just, I was drunk, I was at home, um, I have severe PTSD, so some days I just don't leave the house, um, and, uh, so I was just at home, and I was, I was drunk, and I was amusing myself on Facebook, and I was like, hey, all my friends, cause, you know, send me links to your bands, and I'll insult it, and there was this thread where all my friends, you know, I'm talking like Rob, Glutton for Punishment, uh, Brad Grimm, he sent me like Down Inferno, I think, and stuff, and I was just ripping, and and, and this whole thread just took on a life of its own and, and I was having so much fun and then I thought to myself wow you know this would be this would be a really awesome Twitter uh, account like a Twitter feed you know um, and then I got to thinking more and I was like no this needs to be a website and um, you know so at first bands were just sending me their stuff and I was doing like short little things on the website roasting the band in general and then it eventually became this whole like bad review format where bands send me their stuff, you know, something they've put out, album, music video, single, whatever, and then I just, you know, I, I rip on that, kind of in the same format of a serious music reviewer, you know, and, um, you know, then the bands, they, they, then I got this idea of, oh, what if I film the bands reading it for the first time, you know, so I started having bands do that, you got these reaction videos of these bands just, you know, reading all this, all this awful shit about them, and just, just loving it, laughing, you know, and uh, 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 for me, it also kind of became a decompression thing, because you see what's going on out there in this country right now, like, it's it's tense, and there's so much hate and animosity, and you try not to get stuck in it, but you 
do because people are always like, you know, throwing up memes on Facebook, you know, that are accusing you of being racist because you have these political views or accusing you of hating America because you don't like their president and, and shit, you know? And it's like, so for me, it kind of became an escape valve for that too. And, you know, uh, uh, an opportunity for people, I guess, I guess, you know what? If America wants to talk shit on each other, I created a forum where people can do that and not have it be hostile. <laughs> yeah, <and that's, laughs> how's, that, how's that for a fucking safe space? <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I love about it so much. I mean, you know, it's just like, uh, you can take it seriously as well with your band sucks, but it's just like when I think of like uh, all of these uh, very pretentious uh, uh, writing sites that uh, 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 review things and they just like uh, try to destroy albums and they're so very serious about it. And then you go over to your band sucks and it's almost on the same level, but you can see that roast style that's going on there. Like I, I can tell like so many of the bands that uh, we've been friends with or uh, bands that started up that had members that we've been friends with for so very long. And then being able to expand into other genres of music, like I was able to uh, uh, bring some blues rock and some other kinds of metal that you were able to check out and uh, review and stuff like that. You know, it's just like, I'm, I'm glad to see that there is that equal opportunity shit talking going on with your band sucks. Oh yeah. Anybody who wants it gets it, you know? And, uh, people say, well, what, what if you like a band? I'm like, well, every band sucks that your band sucks, you know, it's just what it is. And, and yeah, it's, it's, it, it is a lot of fun. And, 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 you know, the dirty little secret is I actually, I actually like most of these bands and I'm a big fan of some of these bands, like a big fan of some of these bands. Uh, um, you know, uh, it's, it's, and, and a lot of these bands I'm friends with, you know, uh, I really, when I did the Your Band Sucks live show in, in, uh, Kenosha, Wisconsin, which is like kind of a suburb of Milwaukee, part of the greater Chicago area. Area. They got this great venue there called Hat Tricks. I mean, dude, it's it's Wisconsin's it's Wisconsin's Seventh Street entry. You know, like it's just it's it's a wonderful venue. There's all these punk bands there, like like that right now. Like if you're into punk, you need to be looking at the Greater Chicago area because holy shit, there are so many good bands doing that thing there right now. You know, but I went there and did a live show. Five bands played. I introduced them all. I was the MC, but I introduced them all by insulting the fuck out of them. You know, <laughs> and these were great fucking bands. I really love Peach Vomit. Yeah, there's a band called Peach Vomit. You know, uh, and they're fucking phenomenal. Um, Slaughter Party, and you know, I, I've made friends with an entire fucking scene over there doing this. Um, and uh, people are meeting each other through the sites, and it's just it's it's really it's really fun and neat that people are coming together through shit talking <laughs> you know like it's br i'm using it to bring people together like fuck you putin you want to bring our country apart with shit talking how's this i don't know <laughs> again i have my theories um yeah man i i mean i love it and of course all the bands in minneapolis the metal bands in minneapolis minneapolis St. Paul is to metal what punk is, what Chicago area and Milwaukee is to punk. I mean, it's, it's, it is the mecca for metal in America. Just ridiculous amount of good bands and they're friends of mine. So if you were wondering why it's all punk and metal bands, well, that's why, you know, I mean, when I started this, my friends knew about it. My friends were in metal bands. And so it spread mostly in metal. Um, and, uh, then, you know, through Slaughter Party, I wound up meeting the whole punk scene in Chicago. And so I've got a lot of punk bands. But in case anybody's wondering, literally everybody is welcome. If you're, if you're a country band, if you're a folk band, if you're a DJ, if you're a rapper, like, it don't matter, man. Send your shit. I'll, we'll have it we'll have a good time you know it's it's uh uh I'm, I'm definitely not playing favorites with the metal and punk it's just that's who keeps sending their stuff right now as it gets bigger you're starting to see some other stuff come in you know and i hope that continues but uh yeah yeah and with it i mean it's um 
amazing to see how much that it has grown uh, so much uh, in the, the metal and punk communities. And like you said, it's uh, starting to grow everywhere else as well. And, you know, it's just like uh, this great idea of just like talking shit about bands, you know, in a fun way has really grown. And it's just it's so awesome to see that, too. You know, uh, just like you were saying before, you know, it's just like uh, there there's so many people around the world that's like trying to tear us apart by all the shit talking but the fact that you're able to bring so many people together right now and continuing to bring so many people together now just from uh, being able to sit down with a release talk shit about it have fun with it and then you know just bring people together and promote these bands I mean that's such a great thing to see thank you thank you 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 definitely you definitely see what I'm doing you know I'm and the other thing I'm trying to do here, too, is this is kind of meant to be a slap in the face with my dick to that guy in every music scene who uh, sits sits behind his keyboard and talks shit about every band, but, you know, isn't in bands, or maybe he is in a band and his band isn't doing well, and, you know, he, he uh, uh, doesn't really do anything to contribute to the music scene. He just sits there and talks shit, you know? And so there's this character of... Steve Shagwell on your band sucks. Who is this? Just, just this, like if you go back through there, through there, you'll see me ripping on myself just as much, making up all this crazy shit about myself. I don't actually live in my mom's basement. I can actually go out on Friday nights because that's not the night where I brush her hair. Um, you know, I, I I didn't adopt a homeless. I didn't adopt a, a homeless fifteen year old girl from um, from from um, the Philippines and have her name legally changed from my to my way I, I you know it, it just Steve Shagwell is just supposed to be this ultimate caricature of that jackass who who does that and um, you know fucking those those glue huffing fucking couldn't get laid in a morgue and uh, are mad about it and are mad because bands are out there doing things and living life and that's honestly where those people are coming from you know and that's why like if you go to the your band sucks page you know it talks about how you wear this or the our merchandise on Amazon, you know, you'll see the t-shirt and it'll talk about how like, you know, when you wear this, your, 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 your IQ will deflate and your ego will inflate and you will become the pompous expert on what sucks and what doesn't and, you know, this kind of shit. Like, I hate that fucking person and I get to poke fun of them every time I write one of these and that's fun too, you know, and I think, I think, I think the bands see that and see me doing that and for them it's awesome too because they all have to deal with somebody like that oh yeah i mean it doesn't matter if it i mean i think we both know people that are exactly like that i mean personally like the ones that really do represent the character that you are making with uh steve shagwell on your band sucks and you know even those that are listening that aren't uh, so much in like uh, the metal and punk communities like if you look at something like a pitchfork review and you see how pretentious that can be and like uh, the low reviews that they give for that because it's uh, a kind of music that they think actually sucks and then they just like spend paragraph after paragraph just talking about how terrible it is because it's not their style of music I mean that's that's what I'm seeing with this but I, it's such a great funny thing to see it too because I, I know your humor so well and every time I read one of your reviews it doesn't matter if it's someone local or brand new band I'm discovering thanks to your band sucks you have me in tears laughing every single time that I check out a review and I thank you for that because it's so great to see that. Thanks, man. You know, and you know, that's another thing I'm doing with this is is, you know, I'm getting I'm helping bands get out there. And I, you know, somebody messaged me and was like, Well, you know, my band is pretty new and we don't have a lot of followers, you know, would you uh be willing to review us? Yes, absolutely, you know, especially you. Let's get you out there, you know. Um and you know, every review I make sure I put embed the album or embed the music video so people check it out and all the all the band social media pages and band pages are in there and 
Um, you know, uh, uh, at the end, there's always a little thing with, you know, what's going on in this, with this band now and any important shows they have coming. You know, it's, it's to promote them, actually. And that's, it's like an underhanded promotion scheme, you know. And I, I, I encourage anyone listening. Now, I know you've interviewed some pretty fucking famous people, people I admire. And if they're listening, oh, hell yeah, I would love to tear you a new one, you know. <laughs> but, but I want to, I want to talk to the people right now who, have a band that maybe hasn't even gotten out and played a show yet, but they recorded something, you know? Yes, you can send it in. I don't give a shit if you only have 20 bands, you know? Let's put it out there and see if people are like, oh, well, actually that band does suck. Or maybe they'll maybe they'll like it. Maybe we can get your Facebook likes to jump up into the hundreds, you know? I mean, and maybe we can get people out to your shows. Uh, um, definitely any band listening to this, whatever reason you think I might not be interested in you it's bullshit send me your shit let's have some fun <laughs> see you know i i love that so much i mean it, it it doesn't matter if a band has 10 likes on facebook or 10 million likes on facebook i mean it is that equal opportunity shit talking that i appreciate so much and you know and we had so much fun doing that i mean whether uh we were at beast place uh shotgunning beers and just making fun of the music scene and each other <laughs> and, and now seeing yeah. now seeing it on this uh now global scale scale which is now just continuing to get bigger and bigger you know it's just i'm so happy to see this i'm i'm just so happy to see you know with all of this going on that you are able to promote these bands and i'm still able to see that side of you even though uh, we don't live by each other anymore is still seeing that side of you every day <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you know, um, and uh, speaking of not seeing each other, are you going to Northern Wisconsin Metal Fest this year? Uh, say yes. I wish I could say yes, but unfortunately I'm not. Ah, I know. Damn it, Josh. I know, I know. Dude, that is that thing is going to be lit this year, man. I know, it's yeah. an incredible bill that they got for every single day. Oh, God, yeah. Arm for Apocalypse is headlining Friday night. I'm thick and excited about that. They played my birthday here, and uh, uh, holy shit, dude, they are a fucking act of God. They are a force of nature. Um, but, yeah, dude, don't you love Wascos? Don't you love that whole thing Aaron and um, Chris Oltak have going there? Oh, oh, yeah, and it's been, you know, it's been going strong for so long, and, you know, it's just like it's the perfect weekend for everyone to go up there. There. And I, I love how you say it best, you know, it's like a libertarian's dream weekend up there where everyone just gets to go up there, do what they want to, and just have a whole bunch of great metal in the background. No security, because we all watch each other's backs and police ourselves, and, you know, it's it's kind of homegrown, it's kind of podunk, but it's also, you know, um, I mean, Northern Wisconsin Metal Fest is my Christmas every year. It's, it's a, a very magical thing. Yeah, I've, I've described Wasco as a libertarian anarchist utopia you know Wasco's for those uninitiated that's the resort that this place this takes place on I mean it's like it's like 25 35 bucks for the week or for like four days of bands and free camping and shit and it's just you know beer bongs everywhere and fuck I think Matt Rutherford from uh, Infamous Memories and Endless Rain was running around in, a, in drag last year <laughs> you know it's just like and then there was me me last year and almost died collided with a rake and almost killed myself <laughs> Um, but for, for anybody who's like who's wondering what the hell we're talking about, look up Northern Wisconsin Metal Fest 16 on Facebook, and you'll see. You know, um, but I kind of digressed here, so uh, uh, back to back to point. Um, uh, yeah, your band sucks. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, uh, I do have a couple announcements. Oh yeah. I have one for my Minneapolis peoples. Okay. Um, I actually have a booking agency to work with now, so I was going to do a West Coast tour this spring um i had that help and i had to pass because you know how busy i am josh oh, yeah. um people uh, you, you wouldn't expect to hear this from me but i'm actually in a lifeguard uniform right now i'm about to go to work as a lifeguard and i'm on a path to uh to, uh, to first responder i'm uh, i just aced my emt state boards and i'm about to take my national registry and uh going for that so i've got all that going on i've got five rings entertainment i'm booking shows and trying to hook bands up around here in Kansas where I'm from and then I've got dude I just got a lot of stuff and I'm really you know really busy um, and uh, but uh, what the hell is my point anyway 
<laughs> oh, you you were saying? Oh my uh, God! Oh, you were saying uh, you had a few announcements. Uh, one including uh, the Twin Cities oh. area. Oh yeah, so I couldn't do the West Coast tour. That's that's the thing I'm getting to. I gotta I gotta wait with that till the spring. But uh, West Coast, I'm coming for you, bitches. Um, and uh, so what I decided I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it back home, and I'm I'm talking to some venues, and I'm going to do a Your Band Sucks live show in Minneapolis. And because I've got so many bands I've worked with and so many friends and I can't decide you know who I, I there's not enough room for everybody on one night well, there's not enough room for everybody on two nights but I'm gonna go two nights and, and you know I can at least have like 10 bands that way so I'm, gonna, I'm, set, I'm setting up a weekend with your band sucks so that's gonna happen in uh, Minneapolis bands will play I'll introduce them by insulting them before they play I'm gonna roll some of some of my old buddies from um, from the uh, Twin Cities music scene and uh, you know especially of course I'm gonna especially roast the ones I admire Greg Chilton I'm coming for you James Odegaard I'm coming for you <laughs> you know um, and uh, so I'm doing that and for my Kenosha friends um, for there's some family stuff going on so I'm not I'm not leaving Kansas but um, uh, in May I'm going to move to Kenosha and I'm gonna live there for a year so I'm coming to Kenosha, all you all you crazy ass Kenosha bands, and it's like so uh, slaughter party. Well, you guys are old. You don't. You, you, I don't know. But we'll we'll party. We'll party when you when you when the Geritol kicks in, I guess, or something. Uh, <laughs> uh, again, rhetoric vendetta, peach vomit, Billy Dreamer. Yeah, like oh oh my fucking god, I'm gonna become an alcoholic again. <laughs> Shit, I did not I did not think this through. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, I've been sitting on both those things, and I'm going to put them out there on your show, Josh. Uh, those those two things are happening, and I'm going to do a lot in Kenosha, which is part of the greater Chicago area. So I'm going to be doing a lot in Chicago, you know, from May until the following May, and uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and I'll be going. I'll still my Kansas people. I'll still be going back and forth a lot. You know, I'm going to keep five rings going. Uh, I'm going to keep other things I've got here going. And I should where I'm teaching people in the community CPR for free. I'll be doing that. So I've got a lot of reasons to keep coming back. So Wichita, I'm not leaving you, you know. Um, but, uh, um, yeah, that's my announcements. <laughs> Oh, that that is just awesome to see that. I mean, with the continuing growth of your band sucks, and uh, now being able to spread the word, uh, you know, you know, in person, you know, like going from Kansas to Kenosha into the Milwaukee, Chicago area, and being able to spread the word that way, and then you know, just uh, everything that's going on there, and of course, uh, bringing it back home here to Minneapolis for uh, a two day festival of your band sucks. I mean, that's just so great to hear that, and I feel completely honored that you would make those announcements on my show i completely appreciate that well i can't think of a better place a you're my fucking homie dude we go back forever and we've always had each other's backs but you know also i mean fuck dude you're you're doing shit too you know you're sitting here talking about oh it's great you're doing this it's great you're doing that you're getting shit done josh you are getting shit done man i am i am fucking proud of you dude like seriously you know and i know i know you've got a lot going on in your life and it is easy and i know i know what that's like and you know to get up every day and hit it and grind away like you're fucking doing it bro like hell yeah so um but uh yeah um i don't know i just had a loose moment <laughs> my brain moves a million miles a minute and every once in a while it just runs into a wall you know i've got too much creativity which is kind of how this came about too you know like if i'm not creating i'm getting i'm turning into an angry white guy <laughs> So, you know, I got to keep creating all the time. But, uh, um, yeah, so, you know, a lot of people ask me this, and I don't say too much, but people are like, well, which bands do you like, you know? And I'll tell you, there's like, there's more, more bands on the site than I like, that I like than I can say here, but I'm definitely going to shout out a few. I'm definitely going to shout out, uh, Coffin Rot. Oh, yeah. Um, that band, that band is utterly fucking amazing. And I get to see them at Northern Wisconsin Metal Fest, and I also get to see them at, uh, Capital Invasion Topeka Metal Fest here in Kansas. They're going to play that. 
that. So uh, definitely cough and rot. I just, just roasted a band called God of Nothing. And I'm going to tell you what, man, this fucking band is off the fucking rails, dude. They played in a coffee shop here in Wichita. That's how I found them. And I was like, God, dude, you guys are fucking awesome. Let me talk shit on you, you know? <laughs> dude was like, yeah, we love that shit. So um, I did, and I just dropped that, and they've got a video on there, and the video is really well done. I gave credit to the, I mentioned the video producer, and uh, like, fucking incredible band, God of Nothing. They had a band called, like, the song's called, like, 1074 or something, and I think the headline on that was God of Nothing's uh, video 1074 is a zero, or like, like but it, dude, man, that fucking band, they're so fucking heavy and their guitarist is a master of using effects and uh you know definitely definitely still basking in the afterglow of that so you know they they definitely come to mind um I, I really like Endless Rain. Um, I really like Blood Fist Attitude, um, you know, uh, and Blood Fist, uh, uh, dude, man, if you're listening, I fucking love you, and, and, you know, fucking persevere, bro, persevere, fucking, that dude is the man, and what a great fucking attitude he has about everything, you know, um, uh, oh, uh, Solace and Murder, rest in peace, God, I fucking love that band, dude. It broke my heart when they when they uh, ended. Um, well, Peach Vomit in uh, the greater Chicago area. Fucking love that band. Um, there's a band called Sick Mystic, which is a rock and roll band, right? And everybody who loves rock and roll needs to check out this band because this is a band that can save rock and roll. I'm not even kidding you. This band is incredible. Sick Mystic. Like, you gotta check them out, people. And I've, I've tried to talk him into like dude you got to get out and go on tour but he's actually a lawyer and he's got a really good business so you know uh go out on tour and, and uh uh be broke like he's not going to do that which is unfortunate because that shit is amazing um hands down my favorite band that i've ever roasted is witherfall like um their roast isn't up there anymore because i got rid of all the short roasts you know the old ones um and i keep meaning to hit up james the singer uh, about circling back and uh, roasting something of theirs because, uh, dude, that fucking band, you, I know you know about Witherfall. For anybody who doesn't know about Witherfall, they're the guitarist for my Earth's other band, you know? This is how good the singer is. Like, when uh, Laurel Dane passed, rest in peace, that was a god among men, um, Sanctuary did a tribute to Laurel Dane tour and this guy did the vocals and nobody was mad, you know? He stepped into Laurel Dane's shoes and nobody was mad about it and everybody loved it like the musicianship and the songwriting and the craftsmanship and everything about that band Witherfall is just incredible like they, they are I, 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 I was blown away by them and all this time has passed when I listen to them I'm still blown away by them Witherfall is my favorite band that I've ever roasted yeah they are so. such an incredible band uh, I'm, I'm friends with the guys in the band you know it's just like it, it's it's great to see like uh, how far they've come you know since starting that band and you know it's yeah i mean for uh, another opportunity to be able to see you do like a a long version of roasting weatherfall i mean that would just be great to see yeah well you know and here's the thing i well okay i would know about weatherfall by now because like dude i'm gay as fuck for sanctuary so you know when the world passed i paid attention to what was going on with that and who stepped in so i would have checked wound up checking them out anyway but i learned about them a lot sooner because I have this site because the singer hit me up and was like, yeah, roast me, you know? And then, uh, and here's what's funny, right? Like, sometimes fans don't get the joke. They think I'm being serious and, um, you know, sometimes bands play along and like, I can't believe this guy just ripped on us, you know? And, uh, uh, holy shit, Wither Falls fans were pissed. <laughs> and I spent a whole day on the internet just arguing with them, trading insults with them before they finally figured out, like, oh, wait a minute, this guy's joking. I think it was when someone asked me, well, what do you like? And I said, well, literally the only good song ever written was the theme to Knight Rider. <laughs> <laughs> you know? At that point, they're like, oh, okay, this guy's kidding, you know, but, um, and it's funny because like the band of all the bands that done that I love the most was the band that I just spent a whole day trash talking them and their fans on the, on the internet. <laughs> you know? 
Oh, fuck, dude. But yeah, man. Dude, I've had some fun times with uh, this band, and, or with this band, with this website, you know. And uh, the Facebook page is, is, you know, the likes are multiplying, and I definitely encourage people to go there and mark it so it appears first in your feed so you see when a uh, new roast come out because, you know, I, again, I'm not going to say I do a good job. I'm not going to say I do a bad job. I don't want to be that guy who, like, you know, talks about what he does and how good he thinks it is or bad he thinks it is, but I will say, you're going to discover some incredible fucking bands because there are bands out there that nobody's heard of that I have roasted and if you were checking that, if you were following my site, you now know about them and you owe me a beer because like you will discover incredible fucking bands on this site and i think that's every bit as important as being entertained and having some laughs so yeah yeah i i couldn't agree more with that and with that i think that's a fantastic note to end uh, to be able to promote everything going on with you and of course uh your band sucks and again i th- thank you so much for being able to take the time to uh do this before you head out to work and just being able to promote your band sucks Uh, And, of course, on a personal level, just being able to hear your voice again, having a great conversation again, it just reminds me of those days after shows that we played together, shotgunning beers, and just having fun together. I mean, it just it brings me back to those times, and it was great to be able to catch up with you and everything that you got going on right now. Yeah, yeah, likewise, dude. And I'll tell you what, you're going to be on, you're on the fucking list for Your Band Sucks in Minneapolis. You have no excuse. You're coming out, and we are going to, we are going to party like like rock stars that weekend that's what we're gonna do <laughs> oh that just sounds so, perfect i'm looking forward to that i know it's been too long bro it has it's been too long so <laughs> oh, all right man well, uh, one, well uh, one last thing one last thing I, yeah. I i gotta know this ever since we talked about it and this might be a little too insidery maybe not but i i just have to know what is the status of dragon dice Oh, Dragon Dice. You know what? Um, I had to let it go because I couldn't find anybody good enough to do it. And, you know, and, and it's, it's hard when you have such, when you have such a magnificent, magnificent power metal band, you know, that is so epic. I mean, with the stage show we were talking about, you know, that, uh, uh, that no, no stadium was even big enough for. Like, like how are you going to have a band when, it, when the show won't even fit in the stadium, you know? And, and I mean, even if it did, like stadiums are like what the hell are you doing when you show up with the horse trailers for the seven white knights of endor to ride you know and well dude that was some ridiculous shit man we went all night drinking and talking about that shit remember uh remember how we were gonna have four trucks for the the robotic dragon that i slay on site on stage and then one truck for the sword that i would use to slay on stage or to slay him on stage that's right <laughs> and it was just dude we just we just kept getting more and more pretentious with it by the end of the night like you know we were we we were considering letting um we were we were considering letting jeff loomis guitar tech for us <laughs> <laughs> <You know? laughs> i mean that shit got stupid <laughs> it was great yeah, I, I mean, I that was one of my favorite nights ever was just like spending hours just like uh, the different concepts of Dragon Dice and what it could be and oh yeah God. yeah the, the the most epic power metal band in the world so epic that if we ever played a show we would open dimensional doors and the universe would cease to exist. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Isn't alcohol awesome? Yes, it is. <laughs> Especially when you're a low IQ motherfucker like us, you know. <laughs> yeah, man. No, you know. Uh, 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 I know we're going, but I got. I'll throw this in. Actually, speaking of Jeff Loomis, yeah. Fucking, hang on a second. I have to. I have to. I have to pray on my rug here to Jeff Loomis. Like, yeah, that dude is a badass, right? Well, somebody told me who knew me from back in the day. Like, yeah, I, I, I wasn't. So surprised when this happened because really it all started the seed was planted i used to talk shit on jeff loomis just to be funny because that's such an ass nine thing to do like you know if you're talking shit about jeff loomis clearly you don't know a thing about guitars one you know two uh because that dude is a fucking god um but yeah that that actually you know the seed was kind of planted there back in the day when like somebody would just mention nevermore and be like fucking jeff loomis uh, that motherfucker couldn't play a ukulele let alone a guitar you know <laughs> 
<laughs> but he's actually he is actually unquestionably one of my favorite guitarists alive. Like if I had my dream band, I would have him and Alex Skolnick. <laughs> you know, so what a combination that would be, wouldn't it? Yeah, you know when we uh, when we party in Minneapolis, we're gonna have to create our our dream roster band. You know, we got to do that. Like. Kind of like fantasy football, but you know we're gonna create, we're gonna we're gonna come up with bands with lineups of of our heroes. Oh, I so I, I love the idea of that. Dude, wouldn't a thrash metal band with Kerry King and Sammy from Creator be fucking incredible? Yes, it would. And now there's yeah. an opportunity for that happening with Slayer ending. I mean, what's Kerry gonna do now? Yeah, I don't see that guy stopping at all. You know, God, I hope not, man. Again, you know, his style of playing is really really unique, and it, it kind of like it kind of flips the bird at musicianship but at the same time it's really fucking good musically you know um and i fucking love that about carrie king for sure so um yeah dude don't get me started on slayer man i'll go for an hour i know it's i know it's like it's like the cool thing now to hate slayer because they're old and they haven't put out a good album since rain and blood blah 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 no that fucking band ruled and it rules and it will always rule and i don't give a fuck how how fucking basic that makes me <laughs> just saying that right there that's the perfect note to end on <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. Thank you so much, Josh. This has been a blast, and I will see you this fall in Minneapolis. Oh, man, I, I'm so looking forward to that, uh, being able to hang out again, seeing, seeing what you're doing with Your Band Sucks uh, in that live setting, everything that's going on there. Again, uh, thank you for taking the time to be able to do this, uh, everything that you got going on with Your Band Sucks, and of course, uh, yourbandsucks.site to hear and check out everything uh, Your Band Sucks, uh, all these amazing bands that you're able to roast and promote and yeah again just uh thank you for taking the time to do this absolutely man anytime i'll come back anytime too man this is uh, this has been fun oh yeah so. Any, anytime that you got something to promote i would love to be able to have you on the show and ju just be able to catch up on old times all right all right we will do that 